Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, we're going to go through the new 1.6 download update for our version 1 Scan and Cuts. So that's the first version, not the Scan and Cut 2. If you go to the brother slash or brother dash usa.com and select Scan and Cut, you'll get this page. However, <laughs> it says right here version 1.2. Well, Go ahead and click on that anyhow. And if you're a member of my group, you'll already have the Solution Center um, in one of our files there. So you can go right to it. If not, you can follow this. So come over here to select a product group. Come down to Scan and Cut. Just click it. You don't have to click Enter or anything. Then select your model. Well, my first one is this one. So then I will go. Wait for all that to load. Okay, downloads and drivers. Let me try to focus this in a little bit better for you. This is where you want to be is your downloads and drivers. Ugh. Sign up for driver updates. You can do that if you wish. So you go to that in their online solution center. This is actually the solution center. This is the link that I have. I think it's in the everything you need for your scan and cut file. Okay. So I have a Windows and a Windows 10. So I'm going to click search. And I can already see down there software version. Okay, look. Update software on today's date to 1.6 okay so we're gonna do that but first or shouldn't say first but just make sure that you have a clean clear USB stick it cannot have anything else on it it just has to have this current update on it if it has the other ones on it it is not going to work so you need to format um, this USB to completely clear it. Okay, so let's click on Update Software. Okay, so now we have to come and we have to read through all of this good stuff. Yeah, I agree, whatever. So agree to the end user license agreement. If your download does not start automatically, please click here. Well, this download screen pops up. Mm -mm, don't save it to anything in there. Come over here, and I'm sorry, this is going to take a little longer because I want to do it step by step. Okay, you are going to find that stick, and you see I have mine named, so I'm not looking forever. I'm going to find that, and I'm going to click on it. I'm not going to change any part of the file name or the file type. Okay, I look up here, it's completely empty. That's good. So, let me back out again. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click Save. And that will download it onto my stick. Okay, and in the meantime, you can read all about how to do the installation right here. You press your power button. Um, on your machine. So when the opening screen appears, touch anywhere on the display. When the message for moving to the initial position appears, touch OK. To display the setting screen, touch the wrench. The setting screen appears. Touch the down and that will tell you your version. Okay, so now to update your machine right here. You come here and you get all this stuff like we've been going through. Let me come back down here a little bit more. So then remove your stick. Go to the machine right here. While holding down that uh, load map button, press the power button. The upgrade mode appears and it will have your current version on it. Okay. Press this update button after connecting your USB stick. All right. So you plug that in already. 
So plug it in, then push update. Okay, and if it has successfully taken, it will say upgrade complete. And I am going to take you over and show you how I actually do all of that um, on the machine. But here, if you need to, is the update history detail. It tells you what has been added or changed, okay? Um, they uh, changed the default setting of the ignore object size from 1 to 3 millimeters. And then the calibration, the adjusting of the scan and cut head. Well, that's something that we've been doing now for months. Um, I did a video on it. It sh just shows you how to get into that uh, other screen, okay? So there's really not a whole lot that has been added to this, um, unfortunately. I really wish they would have opened the brain up. But you know what? Hey, nothing we can do about that. All right, so I'll come back and we'll go to the machine. Okay, so here I have the machine turned on. I'm going to try to get you in so you can actually see this. It's kind of difficult to see. Maybe, let me see here. Where did I put it? Um, what you want to do... Here, let me turn this light on. Hopefully that will help. Okay. Right here is the feed mat uh, tab. Let me see if I can get you into it. So I'm going to be pushing this and the power button at the exact same time when I go to turn it on. Okay. What is it? So let's shut it down. There we go. So now let's push the button. I usually push this one first and then this one. Okay. Now, I already have my stick in the machine, so let's go ahead and click update. It's saving the file. Do not turn it off or do anything funky or crazy. And just let it do its job. Taking forever. Okay, so now it's at 100%. And you should see, yep, upgrade complete. Okay, so let's turn it off. And let's turn it back on. Okay, so now when we come through here, there is the scanning, cutting, and position adjustment. Okay, and you're just going to read the directions and follow it, but like I said, it's been one that we've had up um, on the YouTube channel for quite a few months um, that shows you how to actually do that. And that is different than... Um, when you do, when you hold your finger there and turn this on, okay, this is the screen adjustment, okay, so let's say you're touching right here and something over here pops up, that means you need to readjust this, but if your cutter is missing cuts, cutting in one place and not the other, you want to do the uh, scan and cut head alignment and adjustment, okay? That is very important. Um, I have both this 100 and back there sets my 650. Um, I have to do that on my 650 about every two weeks, okay? Just to keep her in really good shape. All right, guys, that's how you do the updates. If you have any questions, you can definitely find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.